Hello and welcome to The Talking Point. Um, we'll jump straight in with last week's question because you know why we're here. We don't, but you know. <laughs> yeah, which was what piece of the future... Are you most are looking you... forward to? Yeah, which could be literally anything. Technology, yeah, that, Well, that's why I used piece. People. That's why I used piece of the future. That's so that it was kind of ambiguous as to what it meant. Yeah, everyone kind of roughly went the same route. Well, there was Pretty quite, much, they took a, their favourite sci-fi series... Yeah. <laughs> Pulled the back However, you managed to get confused by the first commenter. I did. Michelle. Because I'm not a Trekkie. Michelle it went with me. replicators. Now, <laughs> depending on which sci-fi series you saw first, yeah, it differs as to what replicators are. Now, replicators can either be T. Earl Grey Hot, at, and um, if you wanted to, to do the Picard and yell T. Earl Grey Hot at something and get a, a glass cup of steaming hot Earl Grey tea I suggest buying a Tassimo Earl Grey teapods and a glass mug I've done this it's great fun just to do it once fair enough uh, if you're a, if you're a Stargate fan however replicators are little spider like things that fuck everything up yeah they're not nice eventually they became humanoid as well didn't they yeah pretty much they all joined together and became this kind of yeah they're basically tiny tiny robots that all fit together, the, the, building blocks and Componentised robots. Yeah. Which, obviously, to me, that, that became confusing and quite scary. Given that I'd never really watched Star Trek. I don't know. I suppose she was... Because, yeah, she was just yelling things that she'd be ordering from the replicator. Yeah. And, uh, now, at that point, it sounds like a self-controlled robot, if you think about it. Basically, she's just got a pet replicator that she sends off to do her bidding. Robot biscuits. To be honest, she just needs a husband. Yeah. He needs to be under the thumb a bit, but a husband, that would be easy. Tea, I'll grow hot. Yeah. Actually, Fiona said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd uh, give her a tea. Um, what What next? Uh, Stuart didn't know the Annoyatron existed, uh, <laughs> but his, he does now. Yeah. His exact response is a uh, genius idea, but shows what dicks you are. Which My natural response was, we never pretended to be otherwise. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Firehawk Shadow Child came back this week and he came up with the, see all three of these have had uh, repeat viewings because he came up with transporters slash beaming slash portal technology so that he basically instantaneous transport yeah. it doesn't matter what could you just working on portal technology if you had a portal gun yep could you like buy a picture for him fire a portal on it send that to America <laughs> And then just fire the portal in your, in your home. A couple of days' time, just step through the portal. America. Because I, I assume yeah. there's no magical fields that are going to kill all your portals because this is the real world and those don't exist. Yeah, the, 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 the material emancipation grids would not be in the way. Yeah. Uh, that would be a nice way to travel, wouldn't it? You could earn a fortune, you could charge people to go through. Yeah, but then, then there's... Yeah, you've got worrying things because I've seen pictures on the internet trying to explain the physics of the somebody putting a portal inside a wardrobe, closing the wardrobe door, opening the <laughs> yeah. other portal, and then putting the wardrobe through the portal. Yeah. Which doesn't work. It does. What would happen is it'd come out in the wardrobe and either stick or push the doors open and wedge halfway. So either way, it wouldn't ever fully go through. Yeah. Which I think is what would happen if you tried to transport a portal. That's no. why portals tend to disintegrate when the platform that they're on is moved. I don't think they did that just to make the game harder. Definitely. Don't ruin my... Right, this is my future mode of travel. No. This is how I make my millions, right? <laughs> don't poo-poo it. <laughs> the other one he wanted was reality, uh, virtual, real virtual reality and holodeck type technology. Which... There's an irony in calling it real virtual reality. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, but... He says we're on the right tracks with the Omni, the Oculus Rift, and the STEM system, which was something we didn't mm. we had to look up. Which is the next generation of the Six Sense system. Yeah. Which again looks pretty cool. Yeah. But I I like the idea of it. Razor Hydra, that's the kit that uses it. Yeah, that silly yeah. Thumbsticks like two nunchucks. Yeah, I just remember him doing all this with it. Yeah. And thinking, Wow, that looks awesome. That's pretty much 
much it. Yeah. Um, but I remember ages ago on a gadget show, they did a... Basically, they went to some, yeah, someone's computer Jason lab. Jason Bradbury. Yeah, and omnidirectional, the Omni- proper omnidirectional well, treadmill. Well, it, it was the original Omni. No, 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 this was an actual treadmill. It wasn't... Because uh, the Omni is the track thing, isn't it? It's... it's uh, it's, contra- uh, it's a circle of yeah. rollers, and that's all that treadmill was. No, well, this was a long time ago, and it was a big room, and basically everything was projected on the walls yeah. around him. No, the, the, and then he was walking it was the on same, a massive treadmill. It, it was exactly the same technology. It wasn't actually a treadmill. It was more of these little concentric rollers, but it, it was over a much bigger circle. The Omni's actually uh, the Omni has just compressed it into a. Oh, well, either way, that looked yeah. cool. Yeah, I just like the idea of running with a gun. Anyway. Uh, over on Facebook, uh, we got a few more comments. Obviously, another one for Holodex with Mosh Miller. Uh, Trevor, for when your social network is implanted into your brain. So, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Skype. Working on he, the Google Glass may, concept, then. He may, have, he may have been being a bit sarcastic yeah. there. Yeah. Working on the Google Glass, co- Google Glass concept. Yeah. If it was just like a little chip. Yeah. Everything you saw was potentially recordable. Red tube would go through the roof. Their stocks would just yeah. Everybody like everything. Yeah, everything you ever see could be broadcast <laughs> to the internet. You say the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you could broadcast any. That is like my worst fear. Is it just me that yeah, thinks? Yeah, yeah. What if somebody can hear what I'm thinking in my head? What if they can see what I see? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you start waving at mirrors. You'd have to be very. I can see you. You'd have to be very careful to make sure you start recording in your safe word. Uh, are two very different things. Yes, that would be really bad. Do you ever do that? Look in a mirror and say, "I can see you," just in case anyone can. No. See you. <laughs> no, because I'm not batshit crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got skills. Uh, Mike Fazio was uh, Oculus Rift. Oh yeah, sorry. Trevor actually wanted his real suggestion was injectable nano machines, nanotechnology for health benefits, hmm. and I'm looking forward to that as well, because that's that will push the boundaries of what we can do technologically. The problem is that literally means making intelligent little robots mm-hmm. at an atomic scale. Well, not quite atomic, cellular. But it's going to have to be very small. Yeah, it's going to be atomic. Yeah, but no, no, uh, atomic is teeny Well, molecular then. It's not exactly that much. No, it, it's cellular. Cells and not all cells. Lots of molecules. Either way, it needs to be the size of a red blue uh, red blood cell minimum. And then that's not actually that small as as cells go. I don't. I don't want these little things running around my body. I mean, <laughs> genuinely, do you want to live that long? Wouldn't you get bored? There's only so many times you can watch reruns of every single show ever. Come yeah, on, you've seen be... all of Star Trek. Several times. Yeah. You've probably seen all of Stargate. You've probably seen all twice. of... Twice. I've, seen... I've only made it through Stargate twice. You've definitely seen Star Wars. Uh, I'm, out, I'm out of stars yes. now. Then there's oh, Battlestar Galactica. See, I didn't watch all of the new series, so I've still got that to look forward to. And I didn't see Caprica. Well, so. you've got a while yet. <laughs> you don't want to go back through it all yeah. again. Anyway, Mike Fazio, yeah, Oculus Rift, as well as hover cars came up. Uh, obviously self-driving hover cars, because when they're flying, you do, really don't want people in control of the fuckers. Yeah. To be fair, what I don't understand about hover cars is, why would you want a hover car? Why not just a flying car? Because essentially hovering is flying. Just very, very low to the ground. Well, I I assume that hover cars would literally have multiple heights. So, when I think that, when I when I think hover cars, I think uh, Fifth Element. Yeah. That that that's what I think of Fifth Element, maybe Blade Runner. It's the only way. The Blade to Runner s- one's not quite so much. It's the only way to solve our current road systems because every time you we can't build traffic, out. It just, yeah. So it's it, we basically the roads are hitting the problem now that we hit maybe 40 years ago with buildings we can't build out for much longer so we're going to have to build up yeah it's multi-story roads which means you get no light at the bottom so really we just need flying cars yeah oh cars on stilts everyone's seen Inspector Gadget just imagine kind of <laughs> <laughs> no I'd, I'd go with a car on stilts why not mm. uh, do, 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 uh, Alec Ro- corners quickly. Alec Ross Bauer uh, sorry, Tim Hassel went with Oculus Rift is all the future he wants. Other than that, a woman who's a great chef 
is good in bed and doesn't talk back. Not sure that will ever happen. Tim, no, it won't. You're never going to get a woman full stop. Uh, <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> um, I like Ross Bauer. Tesla cars look pretty neat, and we agree. <laughs> They're, they're, but they're we current do, technology. He's, yeah, he's not. <laughs> they're not future tech. They're current tech. They are a bit futuristic. But <laughs> so if you could have anything in your wildest dreams, what would it be? Quite fancy a steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly future thinking, that is it. It's something that's quite obtainable. Well, no, no. It, it depends. Is that steak cooked or still moving? <laughs> Either way, still quite obtainable. Yes, but <laughs> uh, but I. I I agree with him on the Tesla. The Teslas I've fo- I've followed the Tesla cars for quite some time now. I I really wanted a Roadster when they first what, came out. What gets me the bit I love about the Tesla story more than anything is they yeah. took a massive loan. Yeah. Everyone said to the government, "What the hell are you giving them a loan for? Yeah. You green, stupid, liberal, blah blah blah." And then Tesla went, "Yeah, here's your loan back." Yeah. <laughs> they just started paying it back early because they're actually. Quite yeah, the, the Roadster was an incredible concept car. Oh, do you know it's the top selling car in Sweden. Yeah, random stat there. I don't but know then why. They, but, but they have a much, much better electric infrastructure than many countries in the world yeah, because they're, they're primarily hydroelectric. They're one of the sorry, uh, geo geothermal electric. Uh, I'm going to nod and smile. I know they burn rubbish, but because their recycling program was that good, they didn't have enough rubbish to burn, so they buy in other people's rubbish and start burning to burn it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just um, ridiculous. The Model S is the, the, the currently running saloon car, and now they've got the Model X on the way, which is the SUV, and it has DeLorean doors. It has the big gullwing things. Working on that principle, is the Model Z going to be a tank? It better be. Because you I'd can't have really a, go much bigger. I'd you? have an electric, electric powered tank. It'd have to have an electric uh, taser weapon on the front. <laughs> Why not? A Tesla coil? Yeah. Tesla tanks. Uh, yeah. We're going red alert. <laughs> Why not? I was talking to someone the other day. He was saying his, uh, I think he said it was his brother, is one of the top eight people for playing red alert. Really? He still plays it online. To which nice. we pointed out, it's probably only eight people playing it. So if he's only just in the top eight, it's probably last. <laughs> but either way, claim to fame. Yeah, uh, Stuart Renton. Uh, yeah, he really needs to get laid because his option is. <laughs> His thing was super realistic sex bots. Right, we could maybe kill two birds with one stone. Tim, <laughs> <laughs> if you're willing to push the boundaries on woman, you and Stuart might get on quite well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit mean, but yeah, why not? <laughs> um, what else was he? Uh, oh, there we Dan go. Dan we to just fight. Most single people and quite a few married ones will probably agree. Yeah. Uh, Dan went they with weren't. World Peace and failing that um, 100% automated cars humans colonising Mars and proper cloud gaming once the internet can cope with it really that last one was a bit backwards yeah decent internet really is what is after that yeah because cloud gaming exists oh, fucking internet's been shocking here in the last couple of days it's nobody really, cares I know I can't, I can't even get a multiplayer game anymore. That's how bad it is. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, Roy we? wanted hoverboards. Uh, sorry, no. Roy didn't want hoverboards because apparently they'll cause major accidents in traffic. Right, right. Not if you can hover over the traffic. <laughs> not, not only that, but a hoverboard is very similar to something we have today called a skateboard. Yeah. And they don't exactly cause that many problems in traffic, do they? Well, no, they'll cause more than the hoverboards can. Because if the, if a skateboard is yeah. flying towards traffic, he can't do anything about it. If a hoverboard is going towards traffic, he can just go up and over it. See, I, I dream of the day where you can just go, whoopsie, and just <laughs> over the top of anything. But again, it strikes the whole thing. Why would you bother sticking near a road when you could fly? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, when Niall Brown capped it off, coming back to the other one that we've had before, which was possibility to extend our lives. Yeah. Or the possibility we may never die. Mm. But I don't want never die. No, I don't want immortality. Immortality is a bad idea. Yeah, well, not only can the planet not handle it. No. Because, you know, planet can't too hand- many people. planet can't handle us. So. Yeah. I, I honestly think that the death of the human race is morbid. <laughs> the death of the human race is going to be caused by the human race. 
Yeah. We're curing everything and fixing everyone. Everyone wants to live, and surely somebody somewhere must be thinking, hold it, guys. <laughs> We're running out of food as it is. Yeah. We don't really it, have the resources. We don't, definitely don't yeah. have the jobs. No, we so, don't. I sound like an EDL protest. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out jobs. Um, yeah. Automated cars by 2020, yeah. according to Stuart Renton, which I think that was that was Google's aim. Wasn't yeah. it? But I think Volvo recently came out and said something similar. Go- uh, yeah, Google want to do it. Volvo want to do it. If Vo- I'm more interested in the fact that Volvo have this aim than Google having this aim. <laughs> but have you seen previous Volvo test runs? I mean, yeah. they've had the automated driving where somebody went and drove around all day and it was fine, and then they tried to do the automated braking. Yeah, where it just plowed into. They forgot to turn the system on. <laughs> Is that what actually it happened? Just plowed into the back of a lorry. See, I thought the. I read that the system had malfunctioned. Yeah. And... Apparently, they just didn't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> so they raced this car towards the back of a truck, and it just carried on going. It never stopped. It oh, didn't even dear. try and stop. Um. <laughs> But we haven't had a question, and we've been racking our brains <laughs> trying to think of one for about twenty minutes before we started recording. Yeah. So I, I th- what is the weirdest thing you've ever stumbled across on the internet? Fuck you. <laughs> right. Don't judge me. People have sex with dogs. That's the weirdest thing I've come across. It was a thread on Reddit. Somebody said, "Doctors and nurses, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in hospital?" And somebody retold the story of a woman that got brought in attached to a dog which had got stuck. Yeah. Which, I know what you're all thinking, how does a dog get stuck? I also thought this. But they mentioned the dog had knotted. Yeah. Dog knotted. Those two words are enough to haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I Googled, you Googled dog it. knot. And the first thing to come up, I was expecting something kind of simple explaining what's going on, but apparently... Dogs' penises have a knot that forms kind of halfway yeah, down basically, where it swells. Yeah, basically, there's a there's, there's a piece of theirs that <laughs> engorges hmm. to kind of lock them in place to keep the female where it needs yeah, to be. I'm guessing that's what it's for. <laughs> Simple, right? That was what I was expecting, but no. The first result on Google, which shows how fucked up the internet is, is how to have sex with a dog and what to do if it knots inside you. <laughs> what is wrong with the world? <laughs> I mean, the, the first result should have been something from a vet telling you exactly what happens and why your dogs are stuck together. It shouldn't be <laughs> about why some woman got stuck to their dog and not to panic. Apparently the dogs like twist around and turn around. Yeah, no, no, I knew, so I knew ask, all about ask that. to ask with you and then look yeah. in case predators come. Yeah. At which case, apparently you're supposed to grab their back legs so they don't try and run away and cause damage. If you're in that yeah. situation, I... <laughs> <laughs> Each to their own. I'm not gonna... I'm at, I'm at, so did you fuck? actually read that link? What? Did you actually click that link and read? Yeah, I went through everything. <laughs> oh. Morbid curiosity got the better of me, and once you're so far through, it's in your search history. The page is in your history. You're committed. You may as well finish it. <laughs> if somebody says, "What's that you're looking at?" You don't want to go, "Oh, nothing," because then they know you've been looking at something dodgy. If you go, "Hmm, it's a forum about women having sex with dogs," that's much better. <laughs> Uh, you? <laughs> um, the baby Jesus butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Do you remember that where we found the website? Yeah. There? <laughs> I remember I showing it, it to Fiona and she just judged me <laughs> with one look. It was just. It was not long after you'd met her either, no. was it? <laughs> this is Paddy. And this is the website Paddy showed me. It was a, just a religious, religious based sex toys. So there was the baby Jesus butt plug. The, the the crucifix dildo, <laughs> the lube made of holy water. They all sound like things that are saints <laughs> row, don't they? They don't really sound like. But since then, there was a, there's also the other side, the the the, the dragon uh, website, and it, it ties into your knotting thing because they're basically giant dildos, <laughs> giant weirdly shaped dildos that have bulges halfway down. Oh. That just sounds painful. And that's apparently part of the the, the darker side of furry culture. <laughs> oh. Now I see the link. <laughs> Did you also know dogs ejaculate constantly during <laughs> sex? I didn't know that. Apparently it's like a torrent. <laughs> I think we've disturbed enough people. And you shouldn't be worried if that happens. See, with 
as you're going to see, we've been uh, discovered weirder things than than meat spin. Yeah. The, that, that is the first meat time. Meat spin, I've... one guy, one jowl, two girls, one cup. It's the, first, just... it's the first time I've read something in explicit detail about sex. I've not had at least a twinge that says, ooh. It was just pure, <laughs> oh God, what am I reading? Scroll. What's that? Scroll. What the hell? <laughs> Scroll. I just couldn't stop. My thumb just kept pushing the page up. <laughs> Luckily, no one replied. It was a forum thread all about how to do it, but there was not one reply, which to me says, you know, nobody's interested. And one crazy person on the internet is actually doing this. It's probably the same one from the story. Oh, I didn't mention in the story. The woman and the dog didn't have a happy ending. Basically, the doctors had to anaesthetise both of them, but they gave too much to the dog and it died on her. While she was in hysterics watching the dog die. Her lover, by the way. Not just a dog, her lover. Die on it. And then apparently they had to cut bits of the dog away to go. Is it's this going to be fit story. for broadcast? Oh, know. fuck it. It's going online anyway. But um, we're we're going to get a reputation now. Yeah. It's those two that talk about dogs having sex with women. Wait, no, women having sex. Is it the dog having a sex with... Which way does it count? I don't know. I'd say I'd say the woman. I don't really know. You did to, you did the research. Think, Which way does it go? I think the women have control in this situation. I think it's the women having sex with dogs because the dog. Well, no, I think I think the story proves that the women don't don't have any control. Well, the best one as well. Make sure to do it in only in one room in your house. Otherwise, the dog might pester you in different rooms. And if you have company around, they might get suspicious. <laughs> it tells you how to That's cover the damn tracks. <laughs> It's creepy as all fuck. Yeah, yep, yeah, you win. You have seen the most disturbing thing on the internet. That's it. I honestly thought, from the days of like steak and cheese and all the terrible websites that used to exist, well, I've seen everything. That's it. Steak but and no. cheese, beef spin, uh, lemon party. Yeah. Nothing they, is they, they, worse they, they, than fucking dogs. <laughs> okay. So what's the most disturbing thing you've seen on the internet? Oh, We're this gonna, this is a definite can of worms. Yeah. This is going to get Basically, worse. we are opening ourselves up to... Hell. Yeah, you have to beat bestiality to win. <laughs> I've just made it a competition. People are going to go looking now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what have we done? I don't know. As long as it doesn't become one kind of one-upmanship. Because if they find something better... That means they've gone looking for it, though. <laughs> yeah. So we, we... Would we do the same? Would we try and find something worse? No. No, no we would not. <laughs> we will not. We draw the line at dog sex and notting. <laughs> <laughs> and baby Jesus butt plug yeah God, there's so many wrongs yeah if you have anything worse than those let us know I, I'm willing to bet this is going to be quite a blank thread <laughs> if anyone replies no because be because now we got now you now they've got the thing of you've got to find you you've got to either be honest and admit the disturbing things that you've come across or keep quiet uh, and and pretend that you haven't been on the internet you know what worries me more one day I'm going to have kids. And they're going to find these idiots. And if idiots. they find anything like this. Daddy, oh, no, no. <laughs> what's a dog not? Uh. <laughs> Fiona, do you know? I don't know. No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> oh, what's a butt plug? Good luck with that one. <laughs> Let's be honest, you're going to have kids before me. So, uh, yeah. yeah, enjoy explaining that one, won't you? You show them these videos and I will kill you. <laughs> so, answer I think some on that, Yeah, we're done. <laughs>